Welcome everyone, this is Zan Ta with Repo Products. Today's video is on what's new in Revit 2021 and the slanted walls enhancement. I have Autodesk Revit 2021 open and I have a file open that has a whole bunch of walls and different conditions as well as some massing objects. So let's go ahead and take a look at this new slanted walls functionality. I'm going to zoom in over here and I have several mass objects that are created that have different slanting conditions. And I have some walls that I created that show the slanting condition here. If I head over to say an elevation and when we look at that particular elevation, you can see that this is the mass object on the right and it has a slant here. I placed a dimension to see what that slope is. And when we take a look at this particular wall that's being used, that has a slant to it, you can go to the properties and in the properties of it you'll see it says cross section and inside you can click to choose vertical or slanted. If you choose slanted you can specify the angle that you want. So this one in particular has a negative 7.93 slope in order to slope to my left and keep the same angle as this particular face here. If I go back to the 3D view, we can see that for this particular massing object, I drew it really basic with only one slant. And that's just to help you understand that when you're drawing walls without massing objects and you draw them straight, this is how a one single wall meets up against the joining condition of another adjacent wall. And it looks like it cleans up fairly nicely. The second situation here where I have a mass object that has two faces that are slanted, you can see this wall and this wall also is slanted because they are trying to match that slope. The reason I'm also drawing them aside and not directly on the mass object is because we know that in Revit you can already use the building maker tools like wall by face. And when you use this command and place it, the wall that you want on the face of the geometry that you want, it'll place it as such. You can use the options toolbar to specify the location line as well. So the default is finish face exterior and you can see what happens. Looking at how this wall here compares to this wall here, if we select that one wall, it just says it is a basic wall, generic 36 inch, just like the other wall. But there's no information here that states it is a slanted or vertical wall because this one was created by the Building Maker tool. Whereas in Revit 2021, the new walls have a parameter inside that is instance base for cross section. So you can see the difference between building it by face or building it just in general. The third one shows that this particular mass object is slanted in three sides. And you can see how th this particular wall, this one, and this one are all slanted as well and how they meet and join fairly nicely. Now when we start getting into say a curved type of situation, this particular mass object has just one curve. So creating a curved wall is fairly easy because you just state that it's slanted and the degree that you need. This face is also slanted. So I went ahead and built this wall with the same slope and you can see how they join nicely here. This face is vertical and that face over here is also slanted. So this particular face for this wall is vertical. This one is not slanted as it stands, it's vertical. So if I were to go to say the plan view and take a look at the elevation, this particular elevation, we can see what that slope is, 83.66. So the reality of the slant is going to be 90 degrees minus this value. So if I put in 90 minus 83.66, I get a 6.34. So heading back to the 3D view, if I select this wall 
make it slanted and put in 6.34, it will slant in. And as it stands now, that's fine because this wall is still vertical. If I decide to take this wall and give it a slant, say minus six, it's going to see that it can't keep certain things joined. So if I click unjoin, it's gonna go out. So if I were to go in and force it again to be a positive six, it will go in and you can see that it slopes in and it stays joined nicely together. If I use the wall by face command on this particular face, it'll do so. And then again, as you can see, if we select this wall, it says slanted. And this particular wall doesn't have that condition. It gets a little trickier as we move further away from these types of situations. If you have walls that are created based upon the ellipse portion of the drawing command in the wall, if you select it and specify it to be slanted, it will slant. So if I put in a five degree slant, it will slant out. If I put in a negative five, it will slant in. If I do fairly drastic, say 45, it will break. It won't let you do it because of the curvature of the ellipse. It just doesn't work that way. So if I were to take this other wall and make it slanted and put in minus five, it will go in and it'll look like it joins very nicely. As it stands now, from what I can tell, that slanted wall condition only allows for one angle of slant and it can only really curve in one direction. So when you have a mass object that has several curves like this, you won't be able to use that defaulted 2021 wall that has slanting functionality. You will have to use the wall by face command and pick the face and it will actually build it properly for you. But this, again, when you select that particular wall, you won't see the slanted and vertical function in the instance property of the window. So this has been a quick video on slanted walls in Revit 2021. Thank you very much for watching.